there have been several issues that plague the Moon Society of Capitalist Consumerism. Most of them related to what surrounds us. Human beings have built a lifestyle that brings pleasure and well-being to themselves. We feel so good even griefs, putting on expensive cosmetics and wearing for that we forget something. What about the rest of the life that surrounds us? Does it deserve our attention? Why? Now some of us are weak And some end up Some people live their life With the violence that's pure and clean But I saw a man cry once Down on his knee In the corner of a darkened cell And his pain meant nothing to me It is then that we start to think that perhaps the suffering of the animal behind bars is greater than that of any other human being. Already the indifference towards that living being has been transformed and then we start to think about what really makes us different from them. Because the fact that they don't speak or we don't understand them verbally doesn't mean that they don't feel just like us, that we cannot feel with them because we are both alive. To get closer to an answer, we made a trip to the conservation park in Medellin and met several species with which we sympathize because of the conditions in which they were found. They were conserved species, which had arrived there either because of animal trafficking or because they were already quite unhealthy animals. Bueno, si yo me pongo a decir cuáles son los animales que tenemos acá por tráfico de fauna, la verdad es que nos quedaríamos cortos en tiempo, es la gran mayoría. Inclusive te puedo decir más fácil cuáles son los animales que habían llegado con intercambios hace muchos años, que la verdad son muy pocos, vendría siendo este, una de las hipopótamos, la leona y la cebra. Del resto de animales son rescatados del tráfico de fauna y de la, teni <coughs> y de la tenencia ilegal. After all, it is an inhuman practice to go so far as to traffic life for the entertainment of the wealthy by illicit means. Even more so in a country as biodiverse and with such a large mafia problem as Colombia. This type of trafficking compromises ecosystems and species, causing many of them to be at eminent risk today. The problem is in this matter, which modern today is that it's very quick to demand extortion and kidnappings but isn't concerned about animal trafficking that is even more extensive and dangerous for Colombian biodiversity for the health of Mother Earth. This is where we see that, up to now, our relationship with animals has been dark. We have been going to the zoo since we were children, seeing these beautiful beings as a simple attraction, without knowing that they also have life as any other being, human or not. This is where we truly see that the human race is one that profits from the suffering of others, whether human or animal, as if we were species disturbed from its biological order. La verdad considero que el ser humano, gracias a diferentes factores antropogénicos, nos hemos convertido en el nos hemos convertido en el anti, anti animal. Somos un animal, pero nos hemos convertido en el anti animal. La verdad es que nuestras relaciones ecosistémicas, nuestras relaciones con diferentes seres vivos se han roto desde hace muchos años cuando nosotros empezamos a considerar que 
que sobre todo vendría estando el ego, el orgullo, también es, vendría estando este, las ganas de poder conquistar el mundo. Nosotros desde ahí dejamos de, de tener comportamientos naturales de un animal y por consiguiente también empezamos a romper muchos de nuestros comportamientos naturales. La verdad considero que el ser humano en estos momentos, muchas personas estamos buscando po poder volver a reconectarnos con la naturaleza, no tanto como otro animal, sino como un factor externo el cual pueda proteger al resto de animales. Pero al fin de cuentas nosotros somos otro animal, pero que ya no entramos tanto en el contexto de ellos. The responsibility of human beings from now on will be to do their best to conserve these species and to be the least harmful to them as far as possible to live and let live the rest of the life that surrounds it. At the end of the day, all living beings are part of a whole, and it is impossible to value or respect some species more than others. The only thing we can do is to protect and admire them, since every life on this planet is equally valuable. Humans treat each other this way because we dwell biologically among ourselves, as well as the species we consume. There is neither a biological nor a moral explanation for extinguishing or uprooting everything in our path. It is possible to live and admire the beauty of nature without destroying much of it. The question is complex, but the idea to solve it is quite simple, because human beings do not live with the death of what surrounds them, we live if the animals live, because there is only us and them.